Boris Johnson can compromise on fishing with the European Union without letting down British fishermen, an MP has claimed, while warning of absolutely enormous political consequences if he gets it wrong. The UK's David Frost and EU's Michel Barnier have been locked in crunch talks in a desperate bid to make a breakthrough and meet the mid-November deadline for an agreement to be in place before the end of this year. But no breakthrough had been made, with fishing remaining a huge sticking point, as both sides refused to compromise and risk betraying their fishermen and breaking promises made to their respective industries. Britain is insisting on annual catch negotiations under the principle of zonal attachment but the EU demanding a longer-term perspective for its fishing industry and more specific numerical targets for some 100 species. Zonal attachment works and the premise that the country or jurisdiction where fish shoals spend the majority of their time, which is calculated based on geographic catching records, should have control over access and quota levels, a huge benefit to the UK given its rich waters. The UK also wants a separate agreement on fisheries, while Brussels has insisted it must be part of any wider free trade deal. Tentative proposals for a compromise, including a new transition period from next year to help finalize more complex elements, have yet to fully materialize as both sides continue to disagree over the length of any such arrangement and what exactly would be the end result. The lack of breakthrough has left the fishing industry fearing the two sides are running out of time to strike an agreement before the end of the current Brexit transition period on December 31. But Alistair Carmichael, the Liberal Democrat MP for the coastal constituency of Orkney and Shetland, has explained how the Prime Minister and his UK negotiating team could compromise with the EU and ultimately yield a huge breakthrough. He told Express.co.uk, compromising and deals are an everyday part of life and government. You find a way of managing things but the scope for compromise is limited. Any compromise on fishing with the EU would not just have to be limited in its scope, but also in its duration. If they are to compromise on access to waters, for example, then that would have to be strictly time limited. The purpose of that would have to be to grow the UK fishing industry, fill the gap and to get the capacity to take full advantage of the opportunities they have. But the Liberal Democrats' Home Affairs spokesperson warned there is a greater risk of the UK handing over any fishing rights to the EU the closer it gets to the transition period without an agreement in place. He said, until you have an agreement on fishing, then you have to be nervous.